not so happily ever after. Ashley found out Jay cheated on her the day after their wedding during the Sunday, December 23rd, episode of 90 Day Fiancé. Jay was using dating apps to try to meet up with women, and Ashley was completely shattered. Catch up on what you might have missed during this week's episode. Jay cheated on Ashley the day after their wedding. Jay and Ashley finally got married, but they didn't exactly get there happily ever after. Jay was stressing out during their wedding day about being tied down to one person for the rest of his life. I'm going to be tied down forever. I can't do nothing, Jay said. I don't think anyone is 100% ready to get married unless they're like 50. Ashley found out that the day they got home from their last Vegas wedding, Jay made a Tinder account and was messaging multiple women asking them to meet up. After everything that I've done for him and this is how he treats me. I don't even know how you can go to bed at night, Ashley said. The signs were there and I just ignored them. She added that because they are married and he is not a citizen, she is responsible for him so she can't even just kick him out of her house, which makes things even harder for her. Lita kept threatening to go home. Eric was definitely between a rock and a hard place. His kids didn't want to come to his wedding and his fiancée threatened to go back to her home country every second she got. Lita is my last shot at love, Eric said. Lita told everyone, even the woman doing her nails the day before her wedding, that Eric was a letdown and that she disliked his daughters. I wish that I could turn back time and just get a single guy. He has a lot of baggage, Lita said. For now I feel like 50-50. I just don't know if I'm going to do this or I'm just going to go back to Indonesia. Stephen proposed to Olga. Olga has been stressed about not getting her U.S. visa, and this week, Stephen dropped a total bomb on her. He admitted he never applied for her visa until he got to Russia, so he is the reason she will not be able to return with him. This is not what I want our relationship to be, Olga said, upset about the situation. However. Stephen realized that when he told Olga he would take their son to the United States that it was a ridiculous request. He apologized and told her to keep their son until she could come too. Then, he got down on one knee and properly proposed to his fiancée. I'm going to miss him more than anything in the world but I know that it's the right thing to do, Stephen said. Kalani told her sister she's pregnant. Kalani was preparing for her last-minute wedding but was keeping her pregnancy a secret from her family, which was hard for her. She finally decided to tell her sister, but it wasn't easy. I'm uncomfortable being around my sister without her knowing, Kalani said. I feel like I'm lying, because I am. She finally told her sister at her bachelorette party, and her sister completely lost it and started sobbing. I feel like maybe he did do it to tie her down and I just don't feel like her marriage to A. Sualu is the best for her," her sister said. Larissa made up with Colt's mom. After Colt's explosive barbecue, Larissa and his mother, Debbie, were far from fine. They weren't speaking for weeks and it stressed out Colt, to say the least. I don't know that I can forgive her, Debbie said. I don't see how Colt can go through with this marriage because she's a bitch. Larissa invited Debbie to go with her to get their nails done and apologized for everything, which made both of them feel better. I believe that when Larissa apologized to me, it was very sincere, Debbie said. I think we probably figured out a lot of our problems. It was heartwarming to see this unlikely duo, and we honestly are here for it, 